Arcade video games, computer-driven coin-munching creations. They were born some 30 years ago with the game Poing, and they've come a long way. And now there's a new twist. Movie-like action allowing the players to really go west. Now, the hottest game in the arcades is something called Mad Dog McCree. You plunk in your money, you start shooting down the bad guys right away. And good guys, if you're not careful, unlike Western movie action, what the characters do changes all the time depending on how fast the player is with the quick draw. More than 500 of these games are now in the arcades worldwide. Uh, Bob Grieby, he's the president of the American Laser Games, and with him this morning is Pierre Maloka, the game's designer. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Joe. Bob, let me ask you, we're watching the movie, but it's different. What's, what makes it so different? Well, it's the first time that real video in an interactive uh, sense has been applied to a video arcade piece. So what you get is a game that has a, it's not only realistic and uh, not only puts a player in a position like a movie director, but the outcome changes each time you play the game. Pierre, you designed all this. Right. How would you keep the player interested? Because once you do it a couple times, you know exactly what's going to happen. Well, actually, there's a lot of different action that happens in the game. It can take a player a long time just to make it through the game, and because there's so much variety, people really get on and they enjoy playing Let's it. see what kind of a shot job. Well, Katie, are you going to try it right now? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Because... Okay, I get to shoot the bottle. Shoot the bottle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that one. Thank you. Good. You got it. <laughs> Try another one. Yes. How many can you have these? Uh, Try another one. Oh, it could go on forever. I really don't know how many there are. How do you keep track of them? Well, actually, it's been easy because you do it in an organized manner, a little bit here, a little bit there, and before you know it, it all comes together for you. Import. Hey, you caught your Okay. Yeah, you got them all right. I'm sorry, Joe. Okay. Don't hold a press conference. Keep them. I get a reload. You're doing great, Katie. Okay. Now, the bullets are going to work on the sharp shirt. The scars are the lives, right? That's correct. And the bullets, how many you got? That's you got right. the wrong guy. Oh, oh that's right. Guy. He's a nice He's a guy. guy. Well, get the guy on the roof, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. Where's, all, where's all this going to end up, Bob? How, I mean, how far can we go with these? Well, we think we can go quite a distance, Joe. As a matter of fact, we're looking at this technology for application and training and uh, uh, educational uh, areas. So it's how how did this all start? Didn't it start you, you wanted to help SWAT teams? Is that uh, right? We, three years ago, we introduced the first branching interactive simulated firearms training systems uh, for police departments and for the military. Looking People had so much fun playing it that we made it into a game. You wouldn't be proud to get the sheriff out of jail now, would Katie's you? Katie's got to get Jocko. three guys with this one. Get Jocko. Get him, Katie. Good. Get him. Good. Get him. Good. Get the guy in the strap. Reload. Reload. To reload. Damn <laughs> Forget to reload. You better hate him. <laughs> He's telling me my shooting stinks. How, okay. are we, how are we going to keep him getting swallowed up by these? Oh, I don't know. I think it would be great as a game designer. It's meant to be a lot of fun, and it's meant to be something people can use as a escape. You can't, you can't keep that away from them. Is this an expensive game? Uh, not to the player. Not to the player. To build it is. Yeah. It's fairly no, you give expensive. It a try. Are you kidding? So bolster your iron. We're going to see how fast you can draw. Don't forget, oh, you're reloading. Right. 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 That's here, a good guy, Joe. Don't get him. I won't get him. So this was for SWAT teams, huh? Well, I have to quick draw. I got him everywhere. You better work on <laughs> That guy keeps telling me how he can work on my sharpshooter. Get him, get him. A little too little slow. Late. <laughs> you better get lucky. A little more practice, Joe. Yeah, a little more practice. But uh, it, it really started out, oh, I have to say goodbye. We have to say goodbye. Oh, no, really? Bob Greedy, Pierre Maloka, you made our morning with us. You enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Go ahead, Katie. We're going to be back with more. <laughs> Katie, Katie is too, right after